Hi, my name is Anjanae Wilmore, and I'm applying for the fourth grade teacher position at Carcroft Elementary. During the interview process, I was asked several questions. Some questions, the questions range from, what are my strengths and weaknesses? What is What are some reasons why I want to be at the school? What can I bring to the school that isn't there already? What can I offer? What would I like to accomplish in the first 30 to 60 and 90 days? The questions vary. So the question that I answered first was, what is my strengths? A lot of my strengths vary and it depends on the situation and situations because in certain situations, you have to be a certain type of leader. And as a teacher, you're called to be a great leader, a great role model, someone who is motivating and encouraging. So, answer, so my answer to that question was that I'm loving, encouraging, I'm a great leader, I take ownership, and I'm great at communicating. And those four and those five strengths will benefit me as a great teacher because in order to be a leader, I need to be able to communicate well. I need to take ownership over the people that are looking up to me, especially to the kids that I will be teaching, especially to my other peers and the people that would be on my team and the faculty and the staff at Carcroft Elementary. <clears throat> and as a teacher, you should be very encouraging to students because if they don't get it from you, then it's like, you never know what's going on at home. So as a teacher, you should be encouraging. You should be motivating the students, other teachers, other peers, everyone around you. Because we're, honestly, we're one person. We're one, we're one whole, you know? I need to be loving. And again, kind of going off of what I said, like you don't, you never know where the children come from. So to have some motivation, someone to encourage you and to love you is powerful. And a great leader needs to be loving, encouraging take ownership and be able to communicate because you can communication is key if you cannot communicate with your boss your students your peers your parents how do you expect your job to go well you know the second question that I asked that I was asked was what can I offer that someone else cannot so when before when I said one of my strengths is taking ownership me as a leader I would be in charge of my children I would let the kids know that the kids will know that I am the teacher, but we will have a, like a respect level. I will discipline them firm and respectfully. And I also will bring diversity to the school. While upon me walking into the building and checking things out and just observing everything, I realized that there were a lot of Caucasian students, a lot of Caucasian teachers. There were some African American students that were, and I feel like in order to have a solid relationship and everyone to kind of be on the same page there needs to be some diversity so that me as an african-american female i believe that i can bring some diversity to the school <clears throat> i will be able to have everyone on the same page because at times you may never know how a child handles something so when you're like when you come from the same background the same culture you're able to relate on a different level than someone who doesn't know anything about your culture someone who has never experienced things that you have experienced so me being a teacher there, I can offer different things, many things that other teachers cannot bring. I will also take the initiative to do certain things. If a person, a staff is needed to stay after, whether that is a tutoring program, an after school program, any activities, I will take the initiative and get it done. I am also a hard worker. I am very, I am a, honestly, there's nothing that I don't give up my 100%. I do everything with my whole heart, honestly. It's, you have to have a great attitude. Without a great attitude, it's like, how do you expect to be a teacher? How do, how do I expect to be a teacher if I do not put my all into everything? Because there's going to be times where the children don't want to do something. And if they see that I'm lacking or I don't have a great attitude about it, then it's going to be like, hey, Miss Wilmore isn't doing it, so I am, I'm not doing it. I also noticed that their vision and their mission statement was part of a crew, part of the ship. And with that vision statement, I feel like I will be the best fit to help everyone be a part of the crew and part of the ship, whether that is from volunteers, family, children, everyone, the superintendent, all of us will be one big family. And we're going to be part of the crew, part of the ship. And with my leadership, I can help everyone be on board. My next question that I asked, that I was asked was, what would I like to accomplish in the first 30 to 60 and 90 days? In the first 30 days, I would like to accomplish a solid relationship and an understanding, and an understanding of my job. I would need to understand my job first because it's going to be pointless to have someone 
in the position that does not know what they're doing. I would like to have a great relationship with the students, the family, and my peers and my coworkers so that we can be able to build and grow and have a great relationship and encourage one another and lead. The first 60 days, I would love to have everything down packed, my kids on board with everything. And I would just like, I would love to have a great relationship with the staff and the children. By the first 90 days, I would love to be settled down in a new environment, a great teacher. I would love to be a part of a team, the lead of the education part of the fourth graders. I would love to be an after school teacher. There are a lot of things that I would like to accomplish within my first 30 and 60 and 90 days. And I believe that I am the best fit for Crawcroft Elementary. Thank you.